What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is sponsored by Deschutes Brewery. No, I'm kidding. They're not really a sponsor. It just, I like the beer. But if you are watching Deschutes, you could send me beer instead of rain energy drinks. Anyway, let's start this show. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jeff. I am the owner of RDR Gear here in Salt Lake City, Utah. And if you don't know what we do, you can find it a couple different ways. One, by subscribing to this channel as you watch this video. Two, visiting our website, rdrgear.com, finding us on Instagram and or Facebook to see the gear that we manufacture, the gear that we review, the mods we do for Safari Land, and all the random stuff I build here in the shop, belts, holsters, canine, etc. We post that stuff to Facebook and Instagram. So with all that out of the way, let's talk about the real sponsor of this video. This sponsor is Battle Arms Development. They are based out of Las Vegas, or I should say Nevada. But if you do not know what Battle Arms or who Battle Arms Development is, you really should take a look. You probably used a charging handle from them. You probably used a safety for sure from them. And now you can get a complete rifle from them. Um, Battle Arms reached out a few months ago. The marketing department is kind of taking a different approach to their in-house rifles. This is the Workhorse Patrol. They make a Workhorse and a Workhorse Patrol. The Workhorse is more of a standard mil-spec mil rifle, single side safety, non-enhanced charging handle, all the basic run-of-the-mill parts you get on a regular rifle. The Patrol is and comes in this carbon gray finish, the oversized rack charging handle, and if you don't know about the rack, I highly recommend you take a look at that, and I'll probably do some more Instagram stuff down the road um, on the components. They sent us a bag of parts. But every rifle that I own, here's one, I got two in the back, every one of these has a rack charging handle. I find these to be better built and much more robust than, say, a Radian. And I also like how the two ears are much larger than a Radian. I just prefer that, especially if I have a gloved hand. I just like how this works. Their components that they all build in-house, such as their skeletonized bolt release here, um, the Ambi Pro Safety. Uh, this can be designed to go 60 or 90. Um, it's a pretty cool feature there. Um, but the bolt release I like a lot. The textured mag release button here. This rifle comes with their proprietary pistol grip. This isn't actually a, just a cantable, excuse me, a cantable adjust pistol grip. Unscrew the nut inside, you get it loose, and you can kind of cant that it's three position, and it'll give you that ability to kind of fine tune what you want for that. I prefer the angle that it comes with. You can kind of go more of the GI uh, style mil spec grip angle. I don't think it's needed. You have an oversized trigger guard here for a gloved hand. And the thing I like the most about this rifle is that if you were to build or get a 16 inch rifle, this rifle retails for $11.99. Um, you wouldn't get that on a basic run of the mill rifle after you put all the accessories that this rifle comes with. This rifle here, if you were an average patrol guy or you just wanted a rifle for two gun, three gun, uh, any kind of tactical carbine class, you could not go wrong with this setup. I've already added a few extra goodies. The Black Spider 1 to 4 is a super um, budget friendly entry level optic that blows me away for the fact that, like for example, here in Utah, any officer at three of the major agencies who wants to run an LPVO on their rifle must run one with locking turrets. These are lockable, which blew my mind when I got this optic, and I'll do more on this later date, but as a locking turret, I have running in cloud and rain up top, the full size rain. If you're getting a weapon light today, yeah, model lights out there and all that stuff, but what you get for the money in the box, you can't beat the rain. It just hands down for the function, the company, the customer service, the ownership from the top down, the message and the, uh, the mantra of the company is a leaps and bounds different than those at Model Light. I'm not gonna say it, right? So you guys can go back and find all that stuff. But at the end of the day, this product and the people behind it is a reason why I buy rain lights for all my rifles here. So uh, Magpul 
uh, rail panels here for M-Lock panels. Um, this rifle is extremely lightweight. Um, very impressed with the weight on the gun. Full 15-inch M-Lock rail. Um, the only thing you probably would do for this rifle, oh, and I forgot, the B5 furniture on the rear here. This stock is B5, so this here is a great option as well. The only thing I'd probably really change in this would be maybe you go to maybe a Geisley two stage if you really wanted, but the trigger is actually really clean on this rifle. Um, it For being a more of a mil spec trigger, it's a little crunchy on the reset, a little bouncy, but if you're getting a first time rifle or you're getting something for work and you can't really uh, go and drop aftermarket triggers in, this thing, today you'll see the video, it shoots quick, it shoots fast, it resets solid, um, and everything else on this rifle is really clean. So, and then of course, maybe change out from the flash out from a bird cage to something like a Surefire or something like that. But overall, at the end of the day, you would literally be into this rifle, I think, from factory. I mentioned 1199 is MSRP, so street price is probably 1050, 1100 maybe, give or take. But you could get this exact gun set up for well under $1,500. I mean, well under. So this is a great rifle. I am super stoked to see what else Battle Arms development is coming out with. I've been talking to the marketing team there to maybe do some reviews on some other things they offer. They've got some great SBR platforms. They've got some new things. They released a SHOT Show coming out. But it's cool to see companies that have really made their mark in aftermarket accessories start to bring to market better budget rifle, I shouldn't say budget, better quality built out the box rifles that have a lot of the proprietary pieces you'd want on the rifle already in your box, right? Um, you guys will go back and see my rifle, uh, rifle review that we did a while back um, on the today's rifle build. Yeah, if you're running a high-end LPVO, a suppressor, weapon line stuff, it gets pretty crazy. But for those of you guys who just want to get into a rifle, you haven't bought one yet, first time, I highly recommend taking a look at the Workhorse series. Again, this is the Workhorse Patrol. And man, when you see the videos, the pictures we did today with the gray and all the cool stuff that Chris has done with the edits, you guys will really see how well this gray shines. I don't think right now the lights do it justice, but I love this gray because everybody's had a black AR. It's just kind of run the mill. But this kind of sniper gray or matte gray, whatever you want to call it, I really dig the gray. So again, Battle Arms Development, thank you guys for sending us the Lone Rifle. We appreciate it. And until next time, thanks for watching, guys. As always, we post two of these videos every week on gear that we manufacture, gear that we review, gear that we sell. Until next time, take care.